Hello and welcome to Mastering Java Programming Volume 1. My name is Jason Gibson. I'll be your host in this course. I'm really excited to teach this because Java programming is something that's fun to learn. Uh, it's an incredible skill to have in your arsenal and uh, I think you'll find that it's not too hard to pick up the basics as we go through it here. So what we're going to do here is get a quick introduction to what we're going to be doing in this course. I also want to tell you how I think you should use the material. I want to make sure that you're doing things in the proper sequence in the proper way so that uh, as you build your skills you'll do it uh, methodically and easily. All right, so welcome to Mastering Java Volume 1. We've already said that. First thing we want to say is that Java is a powerful programming language. It's used in billions of devices. So you're embarking on a journey of learning how to program one of the premier programming languages that's used in computers from Mac to Windows, uh, Android devices, uh, portable devices, also embedded devices. Uh, Java is going to be around for a long, long time. So the skills you're learning here is ap applicable to all of that stuff. The second thing I want you to know is that I'm assuming that you really don't know anything about Java. Uh, of course, if you've studied it before, it'll, it'll be helpful, but I'm, I'm going to assume that you don't know anything about it, and so we're going to take every single lesson step by step and, and just kind of work through everything in sequence and build your skills. Thirdly, I'm going to assume that you really never programmed before. Um, so as we go through it, uh, those of you who have a lot of experience with programming might see me taking a little bit slower pace, but I'm really going to assume that you don't know anything about programming. So if you don't know what an if statement is or a for statement or what a subroutine is, we're going to cover all that stuff as we learn Java. All right, so what I'm trying to say here is that uh, I'm going to assume that you don't know anything about programming, but if you happen to have previous programming experience, it's going to really help you because you're going to pick up this material faster and probably be able to retain it a little bit faster than you otherwise uh, would. Finally, I want to tell you how I really think you should use this course because there are some ways in which to do this and there are some ways that you definitely don't want to do this. So let's quickly go over that now. First thing is I want to make sure that you watch each video in sequence. So this is a mostly a video course and that means that I'm going to introduce things in the lesson sequence and we're going to build on those concepts. So you really need to watch everything in order so that as we build through the lessons you'll kind of know what, we're, what we've done before and you'll be building on those concepts going forward. In other words, do not skip around. Don't just you know, go to section 15 right off the bat and, and try to understand that because you've, you've never learned the stuff that came before section 15. Even if you think you, you do understand that, unless you're really already good with Java, you really need to kind of see where I've been coming from because I'm mapping it out into bite-sized chunks that build on each other. Finally, um, after you view the lesson, I want you to try to do the exercises on your own. So the way I'm organizing this course is that there is a lesson sequence, lesson one, lesson two, lesson three, lesson four, and so on. And at the conclusion, when you finish watching the video lesson, you kind of get the main idea from the lesson. Um, there are going to be ex uh, exercises for you to do at the conclusion of each lesson. I really want you to try to do those exercises on your own. So watch the, the video lesson and then try to do the exercises on your own. In other words, fire up the uh, Java uh, environment that we're going to type our code into, uh, you know, try to try to solve the, uh, the the problem in the exercise. Try to write the little program, compile it, run it, see if you figure it out yourself, and then after that, you can view my solution of the exercises. So I'm going to give you my solution in a video format, and I want you to be able to try it yourself before you try to see how I did it, because. Uh, the number one thing you need to know about programming is that you must practice in order to get proficient. This is not just Java. This is everything in life. You know, writing papers, doing math, doing science. You've got to practice it. You cannot just watch these lessons. And you, you might learn stuff from watching the lessons. Don't get me wrong. If you just want an overview, that's great. But if you want to sit down and write a program, you've got to practice. Uh, there's no way that you're going to do it otherwise. So watch the lessons. Try to do the exercises on your own and then watch my solution uh, to see, you know, if you've done what you think is the right way. Uh, and if you get stuck, of course, you can watch the solution to kind of see where you went wrong there. So that's an overview 
of this guy and how we're going to use this course. And uh, I want to tell you I'm very excited to teach you this material. It's some of the most useful material I've ever put together. I think you're going to have a lot of fun with me. So follow me on to the next section and let's go step by step so that you'll learn to master Java in this tutorial series.